What's up, traders? Going five for five today. Um, some decent numbers. Uh, two big trades on WPBF. Uh, if this doesn't get you to like and subscribe, then I don't know what's going to get you to like and subscribe. Showing some bigger numbers. Let's go. Let's uh, let's get this train on the tracks, on the go. Whatever. Let's get to it. Um, first trade was on Sun W, uh, which was the fun one. So it was kind of two trades, but it was technically only one because I didn't take all the shares off. But uh, kind of a grinder. Um, obviously realized that after I was in it, but we played it anyway. Started this thing with 200 shares, and then we added 400 in the form of 200 and 200 up here. We took most of it off down here, uh, leaving us with, so we had 600 shares. We took 450 off uh, over the course of two orders here. Um, 300, I think it was three orders actually. No, it was two orders. It was 300 and then we took 150. We took half of the 300. And so we had 150 shares left and our average wasn't you know the best, but I really thought we would give this room because if we scroll in, you can see this was kind of a stuff candle. And I really thought that we would get some kind of a bounce and then it would fall down to four. Like that was where I wanted those last shares. Unfortunately, uh, it started the spike. And because it spiked, I told myself I'm not getting out on a spike, especially if it goes up through high of day, because the odds are it's going to fake out. So it goes through high of day and it starts to jiggle. So I add those shares back. I add some shares back. I had 150 of them back. So now we're back to 300. And this is where I made the mistake is these 300 shares here. Um, it started to jiggle again. And I was like, okay, big spike, um, bigger move than all of down here. Uh, this is probably going to be the top. It went through the half dollar. I'm looking to come back down through. And uh, so I wanted to get some size, get my average up. Uh, because remember, I still had 150 shares all the way down here. So this 150 shares only brought it up to like 440, uh, which is right around here. So I wanted to get my average up above 450, uh, knowing that that was going to be probably the problem spot. Uh, when I added these shares, I think it brought it to 451. Uh, you can watch this trade live over on Twitch. It'll be there. And uh, so right after I added that, it went up and started the halt. I put some shares out. I put 400, which would give us a thousand total up at the halt price or a little bit below the halt price, I think. And, uh, we got filled there. So it ends up halting and, uh, we put a bunch of orders out for when it unhalts, hoping to get a flush. And thankfully that's what we got. Uh, we got an, a decent little flush, got out most of our position and, um, was willing to let the lot, I think I was down to 50 shares, uh, from a thousand. Uh, let's just check. Yeah, 50 shares. So I was willing to let those go to high of day, but I was really looking to see if we could come down and test. Uh, I was hoping for four, but then I saw View app coming up. And uh, so when it got down to there, I just took it and it ended up being the right call. As you can see, it did bounce all the way back up uh, towards high of day. It's such a big flush. I was like, uh, the odds are we're not going to continue down through View app. We're going to at least get some kind of a bounce. It might bounce and then go down, um, but the odds are I just took it there. Um, knowing it was, we were just going to get some kind of a bounce and what it did after that. I don't know, right? What do we look for? The intense move into the pullback. Um, the mistake here uh, is I should have been out break even here. Um, even though my average was kind of crappy, I was hoping that we would give it a little room and get the extra move. Once I realized that it wasn't doing that, I should have been out. Even if it was on the spike up and I can always get back in, right? That's, that's the idea. I can always get back in. So this was a bit of a mistake. It did end up being our biggest trade of the day. Uh, thankfully could have easily have been a max loss if this opened up and went up through five, uh, because we would have been pretty heavy. Uh, I think we were down like 300, a little under 300 going into the halt. And it's kind of funny because it says we were down $45,000, uh, <laughs> while it was halted, uh, because the ask price went to $50, I think, uh, when it halted, which is kind of funny to look at. But if this unhalts and goes up through five to 520, um, we're right near our max loss on the day. So, and that's not even that big of a move, uh, considering the move that it had just made. Um, so I was playing with a bit of fire there. Uh, it did work out in our favor. Uh, just gotta be a little bit, we gotta, we, we can't let this happen. Uh, that was, def that was definitely a mistake. So it ended up working out, like I said, and, uh, we just gotta be better. Uh, sometimes you make mistakes and it, it works, but as long as you can still learn from it, uh, that's the key. So, uh, that was some W our second trade was on OPTT. Uh, I didn't really, this one felt a little grindy to me, um, decent little move, but I was really hoping we would get more up through two, uh, range wasn't that great on it anyway. Uh, so, uh, we took 200 shares and just put them out for half the move and we got it. So I was happy with that one. Uh, next trade was PBF. Uh, this was a good trade. 
Um, we only got a starter on this one, but I liked that move on some volume. Look at it. So kind of up, 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 and then we get that nice extension candle, right? And uh, it was up through 25.50, right up to the 70, felt the jiggle, got short. Um, I believe this was three. We got, no, that's not, that's not the right. How many shares that we get here? Just 100, yeah. So 100 shares uh, came down. I believe we took half off. Yeah, we took half off. Then we took half of that. So 20, So we took 50, then 25, and then we actually took half of that, seeing if we could get more. And then it dumped even more, and I think we had 13 shares left. But that extra 13 shares was almost another 50 cents on it. So um, ended up being a pretty good trade for a single entry, 41, almost 50 bucks on a single entry. So that's uh, see, we're starting to see the scaling uh, work out a little bit. Uh, TISI -I was the next trade. Uh, just took 200 shares of this one. Uh, again, I did like the move here, um, but the range wasn't that great. And uh, um, honestly, I feel like I probably could have took at least another 100 shares there. Uh, put it out, got the drop, and that was a, a decent little win there. And then WPRT was our last one. We were actually getting ready to leave to go bowling. And I was sitting here watching this, and David was actually in this. And his average was like 237, I think. Um, he actually dodged a bullet on this one. He was down quite a bit on realize. He was getting pretty close to his max loss. But anyways, uh, the um, it, when it went up through 250, I was like, I got to throw something at this. And it was on SSR. So I just threw some shares up where I thought if it got to, I'd be pretty darn happy with it. So 263, just threw 100 shares out there, knowing I was just looking for the half dollar retest. And I put it out there, got filled, and left. <laughs> like, I was actually going to be running late uh, if this went any longer. Um, so I just was like, well, if it goes to 250, it hasn't had any attempt to pull back. It's just going straight up. I was like, I can't not take it. Like, this is my A-plus trade. The only thing is, I wish I didn't have anywhere to be because I probably would have taken more shares. I probably would have took two, 300 shares, and this would have been a really good trade. But because uh, we would have scaled out, and this would have gave us no reason not to hold on all the way down here for some, some leftovers. But this is what it is. Great day, 173 bucks. Uh, I am not going to complain, and uh, we're going to move on to tomorrow. Uh, today was awesome. We had a lot of movement. I'm hoping that this continues. Uh, it, it felt awesome today. Like these are the days that we've been waiting for for the last almost like it feels like a year at this point. Um, going into the winter of last year, it was like this is what we were expecting when summer ended, and it just never came. Um, but now it's starting here in the beginning of March. You know, so be it. Uh, if, that, if that's when it wants to be, that's what, that's when it's going to be. And we're going to just take it and uh, keep going. So uh, that's all I got. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate the support. If you do have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Find me at the Discord. Find me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.